I never did something like this. I never designed the land. I never designed the space like from the scratch. At the same time, it's what I always wanted. This white sheet of paper that I can craft in the most beautiful and in the most aligned way. Can this one Mango. Good morning, friends. Uh, we are at the market, um, stocking up. <laughs> and uh, I just received um, from the local banja, from the local village, my letter of residence that I am now officially. Here's my name. And I'm now officially. resident of the Jatilui village. What a special moment. <laughs> it's officially, it, it's, it's fully in Indonesian, so I don't, I don't understand like everything, but I'm learning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are resident of the Jatilui village too. Yeah. <laughs> Das ist Kartoffel und das ist Gurke. Ja. So here's the How long did it took? <laughs> <laughs> here's the no wait it's this way. Here's the little road. We are coming from here by scooter. This is the left side up that goes uphill. Um, and this is the right side that goes downhill. Here down here is the is the river. The right side is a little bit more more wide and a little bit shorter, and the left side is a little bit more narrow and longer. Mm. Where we were sitting yesterday and did a picnic um, was around here like on the top where you have the, the nice view and I thought there would be like the main the main platform the main like community area yeah and we just had the idea to do not not just one community area with a tent like where you can sit when it's raining and an open area with a with a tarp where you can sit when it's nice weather but we we had the idea to do like two of them that are separated yeah, exactly split them off to like to for example do the let's, let's quit that let's for example do the to the tent like here and more and the, the platform with the view for example here could do that yes and have them a little bit connected and what I was wondering if for example we put the we put the kitchen for example here where do we where do we eat like do we have a separate place for eating that is close to the kitchen or do we take our prepared food and eat in the co main community area for example, in the tent when it's raining, or when the weather is nice, more here on the platform. Or is it is it better to have a to have a separate uh, space ne close to the kitchen where it's like meal time, and here it's just for like gatherings and movement and circles and so on. That's something that I'm not sure of. I would right say now. close to the kitchen for two mm -hmm. reasons. So if we have hot meals, mm -hmm. it would be. It's bad. It's not bad a good idea to, to walk. Yeah, yeah, to put them on another spot. Yeah. Um, and for cleaning after. Yeah. Makes and sense. cleaning. Yeah. It would take a lot of time to 
move around and yeah. also the dishes would be cold after <laughs> probably yeah, that's good, yeah. yeah i would see another tent or another construction that is closed next to it probably later on since if you have all the activities in here and you want people to freely walk around um maybe there are also different times uh, timings where people mm. eat in different times mm. and then it will mm. yeah the, the feeling and the energy from the place will also change I so people it. wouldn't relax at this place anymore if there are others wanting to eat and then they chat and you know it, it will mm. be maybe um one more idea but yeah that's very important to think through these different use cases what i think is essential to have the at the at the lower part of the land um on the on the right side of the road to have the tents where we are sleeping one two three four and so on and uh, on this part to have a dedicated workspace where people go yes, and def and work definitely because I think it's also a calm area, uh, that's also what I had in I, mind. I think that's important to put the workspace down here, because here will be mostly the energy where, where th that's more, more lively, where the kids are running around. And I think if you want to have like focused, you want to write your book or plan something or whatever, it's, it's nice to have that here. Yeah. But it can't be, it, it must be a little bit, it can't be next to a tent where somebody is sleeping, because somebody has a call until like 11 a.m. and another person wants to sleep and it's close by, that's, that's not good, not good. Yeah. So the workspace needs to be more like, I don't know, more here, like down the river, whatever, so that you don't interrupt the people that already want to sleep and still you have a quiet space where you can do yeah. call, I think. Here's the thing to just think ahead also, um, the river, mm. uh, when it's mm. rainy season or the season when mm. the river is mm -hmm. really full of water yeah um will that a place will that be a place where it's too people loud, play around in the water yeah then that's a good point yeah it yeah. is it cannot be it, yeah yeah that's a good idea it cannot be it cannot be like here it needs to be like more like in the middle or maybe close to and the then road and then the other thing is because of the road right now it's pretty calm there's nothing yeah. going up yeah. what will that still be the, f the case yeah. in the future yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Okay. at least for the next i don't know one two three four years okay uh, for what okay, we are planning then right then now can still change that's that's that's, n that's not a problem okay then probably but yeah that's a good point it's the workspace would be here and then the tents mm. the tents more lower. down so what i'm just realizing is we need to have at least three four different places where people can gather or be like in quietude just by themselves so that there's an um uh, a diversity where whatever you are doing you find the place fitting for that for example if there are just like two places where you can be one is too loud and another one is like occupied by people having calls you cannot go somewhere to read a book for example i think the key is to have multiple multiple multi-use spaces yeah there would be one two yeah. three three at least at least and i think maybe even a fourth one what i was Quarter. thinking about um i don't know if it, uh, how it is the case for like a uh, nature hike but nordisk has these super small tents. They are like really, really, really small. Let me find them. I, I don't know. They are like four Maybe square meters or something. Like <laughs> that. No, the not the toilet. toilet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the end, somebody will be doing calls <laughs> in the toilet because it's too noisy everywhere. <laughs> 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 no, there are these like look something like that. This is uh, 5.5 square meters. I think there's something even smaller. Ah, this is what I was looking for. This is quite high, but only five oh. square meters. Something like this. You could close that to have like multiple of those where somebody can just I would say like book it okay I need this for two hours I'll do a call or whatever that's uh, just like mine it's not like a uh, not like not like a I don't know a proper cabin where there's no noise getting out um, but if for example you put some trees in between or so I think it would be okay even with the with the noise uh, no, uh, with the AI noise reduction um, you would I think you would totally you could totally do like calls and I think this would look super cool like these little like, I don't know three or four or whatever and people can like book them if they want to do calls
just had such a beautiful Custodia Bali get to no call. Mmm, onboarding powerful co creators for our journey here in December. I'm telling you. And with each and every person who's joining, my dedication to building this beautiful land like to a place where it welcomes us with open arms gets strengthened and strengthened <laughs> i'm gonna have a couple of minutes meeting with my friend nia regarding the all the nerdy stuff the water and the permits and the electricity and like oh, all that shit Let's go. Vorsichtig, dieser Besen ist super schnell. Bist du bereit? Ja, bereit zu fliegen? Okay. Dann festhalten, drunter klemmen und los geht's. Oh, so fliegst du aber falsch herum. Du fliegst du rückwärts. <lacht> ja, da fliegst du rückwärts. Bist du die Besenpolizei oder was, Robin? <lacht> Ja, das ist die Hogwarts-Schule. <lacht> ja, wo fliegst du denn hin? Ohne Besen. Er fliegt ohne Besen. <lacht> almost 2 a.m. in the night. I just fell asleep for three hours while putting Leo to bed and then published today's YouTube video and now I'm gonna go to bed again. I like I had such vivid dreams a lot is going on inside myself right now high learning curve <laughs> had a good meeting with Nia and Rudy about all the I'd say small details that probably nobody will notice but that together form a place that is special that is flowing that is effortless that is smooth where you just like roam around and all the things feel just natural yeah the way you move in this place feels natural the way you are feels natural this is what we are trying to achieve and this requires a lot a lot of care a lot of love a lot of attention to these small details and that's not easy I can tell you so many new things to learn so many dots to connect this is a completely new playground for me I never did something like this I never designed the land I never designed the space like from the scratch and at the same time it's what I always wanted this white sheet of paper that I can craft in the most beautiful and in the most aligned way yeah in full resonance with the local ecosystem with the elements with Mama Gaia and tomorrow we're gonna continue this exciting roller coaster see you then